Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Tonight there's a little pressure. It's my first time with a live audience. We're going to get right into U.S. lawmakers ask IRS to clarify crypto tax rules around airdrops, forks, and new letter. Basically, in the news, the they're trying to figure out how to clarify for taxes in the U.S. Um, the most recent crypto guidance is sowing confusion, according to a letter from eight congressmen published on Friday. As I went through the article um, the other day, I noticed <clears throat> they're basically trying to figure out, uh, like for airdrops, because if you're a crypto holder or a digital asset holder and your investment does airdrops for, um, you know, for example, like if you have Tron, you get airdrops of BTT, you have uh, VeChain, you get airdrops of VThor, et cetera, et cetera. Pick your um, currency and if it has an airdrop, they're figuring basically how they can tax that or is that a taxable offense? Is it something, an occurrence that they can basically get their hands into or on the uh, opposite side of that if you can be protected from those until um, basically your exit strategy um, I'm not going to go too deep into that I only wanted to bring it up again these articles are something that we had discussed on our Twitter page as we try to keep them slightly different but we were requested to um, do a video on them so there are people who don't want to read but they want to be updated or they don't want to um, you know basically don't have the time to so again that's kind of how we came about we were requested to start this channel we try to keep it pretty mellow we try to keep it um, pretty soothing um, as it is not a live stream so to speak which is a lot more active and again if you're looking for a live stream and you follow this channel um, my favorite would be CKJ Crypto News he has the probably the most friendly stream of any of the streams. If you're a new person going to learn, you're going to actually uh, find a lot of love in that stream and from the um, the host CKJ. So next article: Congress considers federal crypto regulators in a new cryptocurrency act of 2020. Uh, as Congress prepares to recess for the holidays, it is fitting. It is a fitting end to 2019, notably marked by the reaction of U.S. lawmakers to the introduction of Project Libra by Facebook. That a bill has surfaced <clears throat> that would provide a sweeping regulatory framework for digital assets, including cryptocurrencies. Excuse me. The bill is called the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020. And as investors, we're waiting and waiting for the token taxonomy which doesn't uh, doesn't seem to have an urgency to move at all. So they basically created a bill called the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020 as many people are waiting for regulation to clarify and give clarity as an investor if it's uh, what their boundaries are or banks uh, and financial institutions and wholesale institutions to be able to hold and use um, the cryptocurrencies and digital assets, for example, such as XRP, many of them are not uh, getting as deep and involved openly and publicly about them for concern of, of lack of the regulation. So the bill called the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020, uh, the stated purpose of it is to clarify which federal agencies regulate digital assets and to require those agencies to notify the public of any federal licenses, certifications, or registrations required to create or trade in such assets and for other purposes. An initial review of the bill provides for the following. Number one, it assigns a definition of federal digital asset regulator or federal crypto regulator to three agencies. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the CTFC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, and the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the FinCEN. Number two, it splits digital assets into three different categories, the cryptocurrencies, 
crypto commodities, and crypto securities. Number three, the federal crypto regulator is assigned one of the categories and is defined as the sole government agency with the authority to regulate. The side A was CFTC, the crypto commodities. Side B is the SEC crypto securities. Side C is the FinCEN crypto currencies. Number four would be each federal crypto regulator is required to make available to the public and keep current a list of all federal licenses, certifications, or registrations required to create or trade in digital assets. Number five requires the security of the treasury through FinCEN to establish rules similar to financial institutions on the ability to trace cryptocurrency transactions. A breakdown of how each term is defined in the bill is listed below. You have crypto commodity, you have cryptocurrency, and crypto security. Decentralized Oracle and Reserve backed stablecoin, a synthetic stablecoin, the chosen federal crypto regulators SEC and, and CFTC and FinCEN has three regulators defined as the new digital asset regulators in the federal government. This is not the first sign <clears throat> that there may be a common role between them for this new asset class in a similar fashion to how the Federal Reserve, FDIC, and the OCC coordinate their efforts in the regulation of the nation's largest financial institutions. On October 11th, the leaders of each of these regulators wrote a joint statement on activities involving digital assets with respect to their obligations under BSA. The leaders of the CFTC, Cent, FinCEN, and SEC issue a joint statement on activities involving digital assets. The FinCEN to establish the rules on tracing of transactions. And that bill would require the Secretary of the Treasury, acting through FinCEN, shall issue rules to require each cryptocurrency, including synthetic stablecoins, to allow for the trading or the tracing of transactions in the cryptocurrency and persons engaging in such transactions in a manner similar to that required of financial institutions with respect to cryptocurrency transactions. In October, the CFTC, FinCEN, and SEC work together to issue a joint statement on activities involving digital assets. This bill, where it passed, would further reinforce the way these agencies would coexist as the three federal crypto regulators responsible for regulating the digital assets. While many businesses may already consider the SEC, the CFTC, traditional regulators of these new digital financial instruments, FinCEN, a department within the U.S. Treasury, is generally considered more of a law enforcement agency than a traditional financial services regulator. FinCEN Director Kenneth Blanco recently noted at a blockchain symposium in New York on November 15, 2019, that for FinCEN exams, you should be able to tell your examiner and or your regulator like FinCEN how you mitigate risks. Identify a potentially suspicious activity and comply with reporting and record keeping requirements, including the funds travel rule. You can count on being asked about this during an examination. Stated by Kenneth A. Blanco, the director of FinCEN. Also too in this article, Below is a discussion in the draft of the bill, and by denoting the year 2020 is likely something that, after updates by input from the industry, we may see introduced in the new year. And uh, <clears throat> feel free to go back. I passed over briefly some of the articles in this if you want more details. As always, we allow the links in the description below so that you can further research these yourself and see any article that we discuss. Um, but in this specific article, there is also the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020, the draft discussion. So you can actually go in and click on this, <clears throat> and uh, it will allow you to go through all of these articles, the six pages. Um, passing through page four, it goes on and on. And as Jason Brett said, a former regulator, U.S. regulator with the FDIC, compliance examiner for the Making Home Affordable program with the Treasury. So 
this is basically something as an investor we've been waiting for for a really long time and now it's exciting to see we've heard ripple as of yesterday evening uh, mention that the year would be 2020 now we have the cryptocurrency act of 2020 and as an investor if you've been here for a few years or quite a few years then you know you've learned to be very patient and even though you know that through all your research it's coming it's very exciting to actually see this happening and from within the community and the industry from the people who have this by design of the financial institutions stating a date as well um, we felt this kind of deserved as the uh, Ripple singled out video that we did yesterday as well. We figured this deserved its own little attention spot as well because these uh, lawmakers are questioning the IRS and now we have Congress designing a bill. Again, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Wishing you the best of evenings. Until the next one.